um, which is fantastic. But so, have you enjoyed yourselves? There's been a buzz, a real buzz. I think, as Nigel said this afternoon, the talking on the coach, you can't hear yourself speak. And in the coffee breaks, it's been hard to get people back into the sessions, not because the sessions are boring, but just because people want to talk. And I now know why we created Web Science, because I didn't have a conference to go to where I could hear the papers and hear the discussions that I've heard at this conference. You, we debated long and hard about whether to hold a conference. Um, and it was, it was discussions here in Athens that uh, persuaded us to, because these people were very enthusiastic to host us. Um, but I'm so glad that we did, because there was a pent-up need for this that I think we filled a gap, and uh, we need to keep the momentum going. And mm, I think we've already got somewhere to hold the next conference. But send your proposals in, please, because... Um, uh, we will uh, keep this series going. So, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. I, um, uh, it's been a wonderful three days. Uh, I'll never forget that opening event with this auditorium full. Um, it's the first of its kind. We've given birth to a new subject in web science. We look forward to great things to come, great breakthroughs. But of course, there's a huge amount of hard work in running a conference, which is really why we didn't, we, we thought long and hard about doing it in the first place. We, we've had fantastic facilities, which only helps to increase the enjoyment of a conference. The paper sessions have been amazing. Um, thank you all for contributing. The uh, poster session last night was just great. It was such a buzz of such a, a fantastic work going on. Um, and, of course, we've had the, the organizational teams, the sponsors, and, of course, our hosts here at the Hellenic World. I hope many of you went to see that wonderful display in the dome. Uh, I think it was seeing that when we came here that persuaded us to really to come to Athens. This is a fantastic center. Um, I've got a list of people to thank, but before I forget, somebody I want to thank is the, is the translator. I don't know if she is up there. The, but thank you very, very much. Without her, we couldn't have coped. So before introducing the Managing Director of the Hellenic World Foundation, I just want to say thank you to a few more people. Um, the staff at the Hellenic World, I, mean, I don't know if you had noticed how seamless registration was. You know at conferences you usually queue for hours to register and then they haven't got your bag or they haven't got your badge. Well, that didn't happen here. It was all seamless. Everything worked. Um, uh, we need to thank the Omega Research Center of Pantheon University for the co their contribution. Um, yes. And the local, local organizing committee, specifically Michalis Vavopoulos, um, who led it. Um, the man who's arranging all the social events, which none of you are finding out about, we're going out Greek dancing tonight. Oh. Um, and he buys us sweets and, and wonderful things. Lazarus, are you here? Lazarus Polymanakos. But he's done so much to help the conference. George, George Voyas, I'm not pronouncing this right, for the, all he did for the posters and everything else. Um, Rosina Esfatio. I can't pronounce it, but thank you. Um, and we thanked him yesterday, but John, you've got to take another, another bow, please. You have done so much, man. Thank you. Stand up. You're my hero of the conference. <laughs> so, um, I don't think George is with us today. Um, we thanked him yesterday formally, but without him, uh, I don't think George is here, is he? No, he couldn't be here. So, so we, we thank him from the bottom of our hearts again for really conceiving what could happen. But of course, last and by no means least, um, 
by no means least, um, I want to thank the Hellenic World and uh, their managing director, Dmitry Efremoglu, who, I hope I've pronounced that right, I'm sorry, um, who have just made this center available to us. We could not have done this conference without them. And um, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. And now I would like to, in I would like to introduce you to Demetrius, uh, the Managing Director of Hel Hellenic World Formation, who's going to say a few things to us. Well, if um, when I was a young student at Boston University uh, studying computer science, I was told that I was going at one part of my life to be introduced by the president of ACM, I would tell whoever would have said that to me that you are crazy. Uh, thank you very much and uh, thank all of you. I'm sorry, but I have to follow protocol and uh, speak in Greek. Uh, but uh, I wanted to thank the, um, the, the dame of the conference and all the speakers, of course, for uh, our so kind words that uh, you have said to us uh, since before the beginning of the conference and uh, as I see until the end. So switching languages, uh, dame, Uh, Wendy Hall, κυρίες και κύριοι, για μας στο Ίδρυμα Μίζωνος Ελληνισμού είναι σήμερα τριπλή γιορτή. Πρώτον, γιατί πριν από 11 χρόνια άνοιξε τις πόρτες του για πρώτη φορά ο ελληνικός κόσμος και ξεκίνησε η πολύ επιτυχημένη πορεία που μας φέρνει σήμερα εδώ. Δεύτερον, γιατί σαν σήμερα πριν από ακριβώς έναν χρόνο, αυτήν τη μέρα, εγκαινιάσαμε το θέατρο, το κτίριο που μας φιλοξενεί. Και βέβαια τρίτον, γιατί η τέταρτη διοργάνωση αυτού του συνεδρίου πολιτισμικής σύγκλησης και ψηφιακής τεχνολογίας μόλις ολοκλήρωσε τις εργασίες της με μια μεγάλη επιτυχία, μια, πετυχ... μια ακόμα πετυχημένη διοργάνωση για το Ίδρυμα Μίζωνος Ελληνισμού που μας κάνει όλους όσους έχουμε εμπνευστεί και δουλέψει για τη δημιουργία και τη λειτουργία του πραγματικά πολύ περήφανο. Στις τρει προηγούμενε συνεδριάσεις Είχαμε την τιμή να δημιουργήσουμε ένα πλαίσιο γόνιμο διαλόγου με ειδικού επιστημονικών πεδίων που για την Ελλάδα τουλάχιστον άνοιγαν νέου δρόμου. Από το 2003 που ξεκίνησε η συνειδητική μα προσπάθεια, πολλή δρόμο χαράχτηκε, ευτυχώ με χρήσιμα αποτελέσματα για όλου όσου συμμετείχαμε. Η πορεία μα όμω ξεκίνησε νωρίτερα, η πορεία μα σαν ίδρυμα, όταν το 1993 ο Λάζαρο και η Ουρανία Εφρέμουγλου εμπνεύστηκαν και χρηματοδότησαν τη λειτουργία ενός νομικού προσώπου ιδιωτικού δικαίου με κοινοφελή, πολιτιστικό, μη κερδοσκοπικό χαρακτήρα το Ίδρυμα Μίζωνος Ελληνισμού σε έναν μικρό νοικιασμένο χώρο στην Οδό Ακαδημίας. Λίγα χρόνια αργότερα, το 1998, εγκαινιάσαμε τον ελληνικό κόσμο, το κέντρο πολιτισμού του Ιδρύματος. Ήταν μια μεγάλη πρόκληση για μας αυτό το επιχείρημα να προχωρήσουμε στην υλοποίηση της ιδέας του ελληνικού κόσμου. Μια προσπάθεια που δεν γνωρίζαμε από την αρχή πού θα μας οδηγούσε, γνωρίζαμε όμως πολύ καλά ότι αυτό που θέλαμε να προσφέρουμε στην Ελλάδα ήταν πολιτισμός και ιστορική μνήμη, μέσα από την πιο σύγχρονη ψηφιακή τεχνολογία. Εγκατασταθήκαμε σε έναν παλιό βιομηχανικό χώρο, συνολικής έκτασης τότε 16 στρεμάτων, που τον μεταμορφώσαμε σε κέντρο πολιτισμού, σε ένα σύγχρονο μουσείο, το κτίριο 1 του ελληνικού κόσμου. Ο ελληνικός κόσμος μετρά πλέον μία ιστορία 11 ετών και μέσα σε αυτά τα χρόνια έχει να επιδείξει ένα πολύ μεγάλο έργο. Η έκτασή του έχει φτάσει τα 60 στρέμματα και νέες υπερσύγχρονες υποδομές έχουν ενταθεί στο δυναμικό του. Η Θόλος και το Θέατρο, δύο πολύ σημαντικά κτίρια. Οραματιστήκαμε την προώθηση της πολιτιστικής μας κληρονομιάς και της ιστορίας μέσω της ψηφιακής τεχνολογίας και την ενσωματώσαμε στην εκπαιδευτική διαδικασία. Με αφοσίωση και συνέπεια στο έργο είναι και με απόλυτο σεβασμό στους επισκέπτες μας που έχουν ξεπεράσει τις 900.000 και σίγουρα τις προ 